things are harder to overcome than great expectations, and I don't just mean that it's really hard to slog your way through a Charles Dickens novel. Whenever the expectations get too high going into a company's given quarter, the odds are that its stock could get slammed after we see the results, no matter what they are. Just look at what happened to Kramer Fave, Hain Celestial, the House of Natural and Organic Food Brands, Celestial Seasonings, Earth Best, Terra, Garden of Eden, the Greek Gods Yogurt, many others, including Blueprint, we got right up front here. This morning, Hain reported a solid quarter, better than expected sales, up 19.6% year over year. Inline earnings, upside guidance for next fiscal year. You'd think that'd be enough for the stock, right? But Hain got put through the meat grinder today, down $4.73, almost 7%. Reason? Well, first, the stock indeed had run up dramatically going into the quarter. Second, though, some felt the quarter was not as strong as it should have been. Lower than expected gross margins, sluggish sales in Britain. So should we be concerned here? Something changed. Or should we accept the fact that these things do happen and use the pullback to do some buying in a very high-quality stock? Let's take a closer look with Erwin Simon. He's the founder and chairman and CEO of Haines Celestial. Hear more about the quarter and the company's prospects. Mr. Simon, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, Erwin. Jim, how Have are you? Have a seat. All right, so look, let's, let's uh, go right there. Uh, very jarring decline in the stock. Some people felt, well, wait a second, you had sales down in UK, in UK 8%. Gross margins, not what we were looking for in the United States. And U.S. sales, not what you're looking for. Um, what happened here? So, first of all, come back. Our overall sales, as I look at the company, is what our total sales are. Our overall total sales are up 20%. Our organic growth was up 8%, uh, high single digits. You know, we made $91 million on an adjusted, uh, you know, our EPS was up double digits. There's not a lot of consumer packaged good companies doing that today within the food, right. you know, and personal uh, food and personal care uh, uh, categories. But hey, we got a high multiple, so we we right. you know we got high expectations out there. You know, our our business in the U.S. was up three percent, you know, from <coughs> from a gap standpoint, but adjusted up seven and a half for our recall on Marinantha. Right now, also the shopkeeping news for the top twenty SKUs up eleven percent. So I w I found this hard to reconcile. So, again, if you come back and look, where is our growth? And what we've said is, listen, there's been a slowdown in natural. And, you know, listen, we've seen, you know, some slowdown in Whole Foods. But, I, you know, I got to tell you, I'm pretty excited about some of the growth opportunities there. And with that, the consumer today is buying more and more natural foods. You know, somebody asked me today on our, our call, do you think we're coming back where we have a recession, consumers are going to stop buying right. healthier products? Number one, Jimmy, you go back to 2008, 2009, the consumer were not millennials back then. They were 15 years old right. or 21 years old today. And let me tell you something. They know about healthier products. Number two, I have never seen so much demand for healthier food products and consumer products sold in so many different retail outlets across the United States and the rest of the world. Well, then why can't you raise price, get those gross margins back? You know what? It's, it's, it, our gross margin on here was mixed because our higher sales on protein, okay? And, and I, I am big on this here. Price is not everything. I want to sell volumes. You heard right. me say, right. wherever there's a cash register, I want to sell food. And listen, healthy food has to be affordable. And that's the big thing. You heard us say we took out $55 million of costs, okay? Right. Again, I always want to see a 10 to 15% premium between us and conventional products. But Irwin, are you making me sound like I should lower my expectations for what to expect from the company in the future? Hey, hey Jim, we come out for 2016, okay? okay? Our organic growth is up 9%. Our overall sales up 12 Our EPS up 18%. With plenty of room for acquisitions and plenty of room to growth out there. If you come back and look at our ACV today, we're at 35% ACV in regards to white space distribution. Okay. So, you know, growth within Walmart. You know, we saw Walmart numbers today, but more and more consumers are going to Walmart, Target, to buy more and more healthy products. Kroger, Safeway, right. Albertsons. So from our standpoint, the growth opportunities is tremendous out there. So... No need to lower your expectations. But are we starting to get crowded? Uh, you made an acquisition, Mona. Uh, White Wave is a favorite of mine, too. That, that competes directly with White Wave. Uh, uh, is it getting crowded here? Hey, Jim, there's a big country out there in Europe, okay? okay. This was, was Austria that we bought this, and it right. gets us into Romania, gets into Poland. So here's the thing. It's not that it's crowded. Where we're taking the consumption away is from cow's milk. Right. So the consumer, right. and that's where we, you know, consumers are $8 billion, you know, $800 billion worth of food sold in the United States every year. It's not that consumption is growing, it's getting crowded. You know, we're taking more and more consumption away from conventional products, 
less consumers drinking right. milk, going to plant-based milk. Right. So there's lots of opportunities. More and more consumers eating healthier snacks. Look at our terror chips. It's right. not potato, it's a vegetable chip. Look at this here. It's a non-dairy plant-based product. Celestial Seasons are new packaging going after right. the millennials. Blueprint, hey, we announced today it's going into 1,900 Paneras and they're looking to remove soda. Our personal care products, what a category that's on fire for us, well, growing well, double digits. You know, well, well, this is what I need to hear because remember, when we see people are jarred, but that organic growth is far better than the old days. Listen, high single digits, low double digit Don't growth. Where, where are you getting that today in the consumer? And, and again, step back. Healthy eating, not a fad, not a trend. And, and, the, and the big thing is this here. If, it was nat if we were only natural food, only sold in natural right. foods, no, then you've you got to worry, right. okay? We're selling all over the world today. Okay, terrific. Uh, we, look, we want to hear it, Earl. When Listen, you need to hear it, the stock se got killed. 70 countries you can go buy Hain products today. You go to City Field and watch the Mets, you can buy it. You go to Madison Square Garden right. and watch the Knicks, you can buy Hain products. And that's what does matter. It's broad distribution. Erwin Simon, chairman, president, and CEO of Hain Celestial. Erwin, thank you so much for talking today about the stock. Thank you, Jim. Yep. Stick with Kramer.